Links down below in the description box to credit the people that have created these articles. Also, as always, that's not bacon sizzling in a frying pan. It is the soothing sounds of rain falling on leaves. Starfield Preload is just under 140 gigs on PC and just over 126 on console. In case you were wondering about how girthy, how meaty it is. I mean, this is definitely the Whopper with extra cheese and bacon. Like, I mean, that's a pretty big game. I mean, look at NBA 2K. That's a pretty damn big game on its own. And that's just a little wee basketball court. And that crap is like 100 gigs. So having something like this, truthfully, at 126 to 140 gigs, <clears throat> doesn't really impress me. Uh, Star Wars, the new one that came out there, Survivor, Jedi Survivor, that's like 145 gigs. It's bigger than Starfield. So again, really not wowed by this. But they're talking about it in articles as if it's like such a big deal. Reviews for the game go live on August the 31st at 9 a.m. Pacific time. And if you want to play the game early, you're able to do so on the same day that the reviews go live. That's when the embargo lifts and gets thrown out the window. 8 p.m. Eastern, or again, sticking with the Pacific time of 5 p.m. on August the 31st. And if you are on Game Pass, normally you would only be able to play on the September the 6th, not on August the 31st, September 1st, depending on your region. But you can actually purchase for $35 instead of the 100 US dollars for the premium edition upgrade. And that will allow you to get a week early into the game. So that might be sort of like a happy balance medium for you if you want to get into that. Speaking of release dates, Assassin's Creed Mirage was supposed to be scheduled for October the 12th, but it's gone gold, meaning it's locked, loaded, it's official, the game is launching. That's what that means. It doesn't mean it's going to be free of bugs. And that comes out on October the 5th. Okay, so October the 5th, I don't think there's any early release. Like if you buy the deluxe, I don't think you get like a three-day head start on Assassin's Creed Mirage. October the 5th, one day after NHL Standard Edition 24, NHL 24 comes out. There's a beautiful, beautiful um, trailer here that I'm just going to kind of run in the background super quick. No, not 4K. That'll melt my computer. So this is why my videos don't do good on YouTube. Uh, absolute huge changes. And this game, if you buy the X Factor Edition, which is the deluxe version, if you will, you get a three-day head start. So October the 3rd, you can essentially be playing this game. And then a couple of days after that, on the 5th, you could be playing Assassin's Creed. So for me, I am just head over heels excited for this. First week of October, end of September... Is it end of September? No, end of August, beginning of September. It's just going to be nuts. Like in the next week and a half, I'm just, oh my God. And then I figure, hopefully, by the time the romance, the, what's it called? The uh, honeymoon phase wears off with Starfield. If it does, you never know. There's some games I keep playing to this day, like Days Gone. I'm like in the upwards of like near a thousand hours. Uh, we've got Assassin's Creed like I said, in NHL. So the purpose behind these videos, by the way, is really simple. So I used to upload like way, way too much. L look at some of the checking here. It's absolutely insane. Take a look. Bop. That's what's going to happen to you. If you give this video a thumbs down, you're going to go boom. There it is. Do you see that? Like just wow. And they can actually go into the penalty, or not the penalty box, where your team is, whatever the hell that's called, I don't know. I just watch and play hockey. I don't pay attention to all the specific terminologies there. But um, I forget what I was going to say. That's what happens when you have ADHD. No, so the purpose of these videos is simple. I want to try and cover two, three pieces of gaming news, cover a couple of different games, rather than always making a separate video for each game. Like, Assassin's Creed is launching a week early. Okay, uh, thanks. So uh, see you in the next video. I feel like that's not worth its own video. And so what I'm trying to do is condense and then put everything into one video 
for some stuff. That way it gives me a chance to ramble on for a couple of minutes about absolutely nothing. See, he got checked over the... and then smashed the glass there. This is likely going to be, honestly, the biggest jump from one iteration of NHL to another that we've seen in a long time. I am just so over the moon for this game. So yeah, so I'm trying to do that for my channel before it goes down the toilet. I'm trying to have it so that I cover less games. There's going to be some games and some game updates that I'm no longer going to be talking about. It's going to be as if I'm just going completely silent with them. And the idea is to try and not over cluster my channel with a bunch of crap. Because what ends up happening is my views to subscriber count is probably one of the lowest in YouTube history. And that's because I cover too many different games. I'm not like a game reviewer, like ACG, Carrick from ACG, who doesn't bring you reviews that are two minutes long or filled with sponsored bullcrap. Okay? He brings you quality reviews. But he talks about a game once, essentially, reviews it, moves on. So that's got its thing going on. And I'm not rich from Review Tech USA. I'm not Boogie2988. I wish I was as good as those guys, but I'm not. Or like a Spawn Wave or something like that. But I just, I am not. So I tried to overcompensate, go all over the place, get really, really crazy. And I mean, it's working, but it's not working to the level that I would like to see. I'm going on five years on my YouTube channel. A little bit of a rant here, as you can see. And... I want to actually grow. I don't want to be in the same position I was when I first started, which was really high. And then I just stayed there. I've plateaued since the very beginning. I haven't improved, but I haven't digressed either. So it's kind of like, is the glass half empty or half full? It depends how you look at it. All I know is I want to try and make more of these kinds of videos, but without all the extra rant at the end. Maybe sometimes... But I also don't feel bad because unlike a lot of people on YouTube, they do the rant in the beginning. They talk about a bunch of random bullshit that we don't care about. And then they get into the news. Me, I would like to think that I got right into it. Here's what's happening with Starfield. Here's when the review is. Here's how big it is. Here's when you can play it. Oh, check out Assassin's Creed. It's out a week early, right? Oh, NHL. Did you know there's a trailer? And holy shit, this looks like the biggest upgrade we've seen from one year to the next in a long time. Boom, 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 boom. You got all the information. You got all the links down below in the description box, right? So that way, if I get carried away afterwards, I don't feel bad. You, you came, you got what you needed, and then you're like, this dude is cray cray. I got to go. That's fine. Right? I enjoy making these kinds of videos a lot more than some of the other stuff I was cluttering my YouTube channel with. So that's it. I'm going to end it there. As always, if you like the video, go ahead, give it a thumbs up. It does greatly help. Support the channel with the algorithm and making me a little bit more relevant in the search results when people are looking sh up on the internet. So they say. You didn't like the video. Go ahead, give it a thumbs down. We'll bend it in half, twist it, break a stick off in your ass. And if you want to subscribe to the channel, I mean, do I even need to finish that sentence? Naturally, that would be fantastic now, wouldn't it? But if not, thanks for stopping by anyways. Take care, and maybe I shall see some of you, if I'm lucky, in the next one. Bye for now.